The owners here at the Alchemist Brewery, they're hoping to produce more than just those cans of that hoppy beer. They actually have a new goal in mind, producing energy. Vermont is no stranger to scenic views, but the parking lot at the Alchemist Brewery is probably not included in that category. But this is a good thing. What better way than to use that, that sea of blacktop than to put solar panels in there? I think this is a really great example of how we can produce clean energy without negatively affecting the natural beauty of our state. I mean, it's a parking lot. The brewery is installing nearly 400 solar panels in their lot in Stowe which could produce enough energy to power one third of their operations. Hopefully a year from now, we will be, we will be more than 100% solar power to both of our breweries. They're working with Suncommon on the half million dollar project. When we build solar power at our homes, at our businesses, or in our communities, really generating the power right where it's being used um, is the most efficient and strongest clean energy grid that we can build. These commercial sized solar canopies are a first for Vermont, but Suncommon hopes this project sets an example for other businesses. We have a lot of parking lots in Vermont, um, and we're excited to help other businesses make that investment in our clean energy future and in their own businesses. This is just one step in the Alchemist goal of having zero impact on the environment. The biggest threat to our business is climate change. The three main ingredients in our beer are hops, malt, and uh, water, clean water, and all of those are threatened by climate change. So it's really our responsibility to invest in innovative technologies and to create as much clean energy as we possibly can. Now, the Alchemist's other location in Waterbury, it's already more than 100% solar powered. So that extra energy they actually donate to a local senior center there, eliminating their electric bills. They're hoping to do something similar here. Now, I just want to note something kind of interesting with these solar panels when they go in. They're going to be taking energy from the top and the bottom, and they're covering several dozen spots. So people who are here during those snowy seasons, they want to be clearing off their cars when they're covered underneath there. So that's just something to note. Live in Stowe, Jackie Pascal, NBC5 News. <laughs>